have been invited here today to share the most precious and most joyous of occasion, to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the wedding of Dean Gattuso and Adriana de Guglielmo. In the years they have been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and has matured. And now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wives. This is the only time that all these beautiful people will be assembled together. Look around and see this wonderful place and these amazing people that love you and they care about you. They've traveled from all over to get here. They've got babysitters to be here. <laughs> they bought hotel rooms. They put on some very fancy clothes. They've canceled other plans to be here because they truly care about you. Before this great company, you wish to share your commitment to the one that you have found the deepest love, the one you've formed the deepest bonds, and the one you've given the deepest trust. Dean and Adriana would like to thank you today for your presence, and they ask that your blessings and your encouragement, not just for today, but for lifelong support. No ceremony can create a marriage. Uh, what a ceremony can do is be a witness and affirm the choice to stand together as soulmates and as life partners. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure. It must be built from love and patience, dedication to each other, through tenderness and laughter, learning to forgive and to appreciate differences. By learning to make the important things matter and let go of the rest, I can't tell you how happy I am to be here tonight celebrating Adriana and Dean. They've been lovebirds for so long now that in a lot of ways it felt like they were already married. But it's certainly nice to have everyone here tonight to make it official. For those of you who don't know, my name's Sam and I'm proud as hell to call myself Adriana's best friend, <laughs> maid of honor, and soul sister. Now my parents are here tonight so Against my better judgment, I'm gonna admit that in college, it's a little bit of a loose cannon. Without going into too much detail, one day I found myself in an altercation with my arch nemesis. A scuffle ensued. And before I knew it, someone yelled out, Sam, we gotta get to the hospital, Adriana's hurt. I turn around, and sure enough, Adriana's pinky was broken at a 90 degree angle. I kid you not, it was the most badass thing I have ever seen in my life. But I thought, how the hell did that happen? How did Adriana get involved? Well, later I found out that my arch nemesis had brought back up, which Adriana so bravely took on herself. <laughs> if I had more time, I could tell you a thousand stories about our friendship that all end the same way. Adriana has always had my back. Fast forward a few years later, 
And she tells me about this boy she works with. Vanilla Dean Cheesecake, she called him. Talk about a smitten kitten. Ooh-wee! I had never seen her giddy like this before. And she had this crazy sparkle in her eyes. And as soon as I met Dean, I realized he had that exact same sparkle. Dean has always been a total sweetheart, immediately treating me as if I were a part of his family. But more importantly, he's treated my soul sister like the queen that she is, prioritizing her happiness and supporting her dreams, even when that meant moving halfway across the world. I'm so happy that my best friend now has a husband who has her back like she has always had mine. Dean, you're the most incredible man I know. You're kind, caring, patient, hilarious, and so incredibly handsome. You make me feel like the most important, beautiful, loved, and protected and cared for person in the world. From day one, you have always supported me in all my wild dreams and my bucket list ideas. No matter where I wanted to go or what I wanted to do, what new hobbies I've taken up, you are always right there beside me. You've literally followed me all over the world. And I say follow because it took a bit of convincing sometimes, but you left everything behind three or more times to make my dreams a reality, to make me happy. Dean, you make me the happiest person in the world every single day. I feel your love and all you do for us and our little family. Even if you grunt before doing it, even if I get a deep eye roll, you are committed to keeping me happy and you have never failed. The love I have for you is immeasurable. You're my biggest accomplishment, my greatest joy, the thing that gives my life all of its meaning. I want to spend every single minute with you. It's surprising that every day I seem to love you even more, to the point of tears even, since I often cry, as you know, for no real reason at all, other than how grateful and blessed I am to have you and this life together. In the last decade, we have grown together, not just as two kids figuring out our lives and growing up, but as a couple navigating life, side by side, growing in love and understanding. We have learned, loved, and truly become who we are together. You have become such an integral part of my life, I've almost forgotten what life was like before you. In our lives together, we have experienced some really fantastic big moments, like today, our wedding day. And I love those big moments and the memories with you. But it's really the little moments that you have that have made our relationship, our partnership, and our bond what it is. In those little moments when you wink at me from across the room, or you wipe a tear away from my eye, or the way you always say I love you before hanging up the phone. It's the small fleeting moments that make me want to spend the rest of my life with you. Because the big moments are far and few between. But it's the little moments that make up our days together. I'm so eternally grateful for you. I truly don't know how I got so lucky. I know it's taken a long time for us to get here, but I promise it was worth the wait. I promise to never let the fun and fire of our romance die. I promise to keep being your ray of sunshine, the light that never stops encouraging you and forcing you to repeat positive affirmations <laughs> like you mean it. I promise not to complain when you listen to the same worn out playlists that you've been listening to for years or get mad at you for leaving your things everywhere. I promise to let you be exactly who you are, fisherman, gamer, fantasy football coach, and to always be your number one fan. Dean, I vow to always be your rock in sorrow and success. Through all of the hard times, I will be there to comfort you. 
through all of the good times, I will be there to celebrate with you. I vow to support all of your dreams and goals and manifest them as if they are my own. I promise to love the man you are today and every future version of you. I love you, Dean. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Adriana, I cannot thank you, thank fate enough for finding your way into my life and turning it right side up. You cracked my shell like no one else could. If it weren't for you, for your tenacity, I would never have had the courage to travel the world with you. Because of you, we've seen beautiful places, met incredible people, and have unfor unforgettable memories. Before you came into my life, the list of things I wouldn't eat was longer than the list of things I would. Now look at me, I'm marrying a vegan and I love her cooking. <laughs> you always push me to broaden my horizons and try new things because that's how you thrive yourself. You've convinced me that there's nothing I can't do if I really put my mind to it. And if I fail, it's just my first attempt. People always say that love and relationships are hard work to grow and maintain. In the 10 years I've loved you, has never once felt like work. To truly love someone the way I love you is effortless and second nature. Your love gives me hope that there is good in this world, ever changing around us. Your smile brings me joy, like the sun radiating warmth and positivity in my life. Your beauty is absolutely breathtaking. You've been there for my the happiest moments of my life and your presence only made those moments better. You've been there for the worst moments of my life and your presence helped soften the blow and see the light at the end of a dark tunnel. When I'm not with you, even for just a few hours, I feel incomplete, like something's missing. And honestly, I can't bear the thought of not loving you for every second for the rest of my life. Forever with you simply will not be enough, but every day from this day forward, I vow to make the most of every remaining moment I have with you. I promise to not yell at you when you gasp loudly, seeing a bald eagle or the moon, even though it, it startles me. I promise to attempt to not get too mad when you come home with yet another houseplant that you don't need. <laughs> I vow to always grow my life and chase my dream with and for you, always. I vow to always be honest and true to you. I vow to always put my trust in you with the smallest matters and the most important. I promise to continue to let you get your way with little pushback. I promise to always listen to you and learn from you, to support you and accept your guidance. I will celebrate your successes and mourn your losses as, as if they were my own because after today they will, we will be one. I promise to always hear your voice and compromise whenever we don't agree on something. I promise to honor, love, and cherish you through all of life's adventures. Wherever we go, we'll go together. Adriana, with all of my heart and soul, I can tell you that you have made me the happiest man in the world, and now we get to start forever together. In a few magical moments, something amazing is going to happen. A transformation will begin to take place. You will transform into a family for all to see. Family uh, means that you literally become part of each other. You carry each other deep inside wherever you may go, no matter what life may bring, whether it's the wonderful sound of laughter or the anguish of tears. Now you walk this walk called life hand in hand as husband and wife eternally. It is with great pleasure that I hereby pronounce you 
husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I'm so proud of Adriana and Dean um, because they have given me hope. They've given me a family of everyone. This is what happiness is all about. And I thank God for having a son-in-law who is just tremendous. I want to thank Mr. and Mrs. Gutos for bringing in Dean into this world to meet Adriana. It was worth every single second and every single day of waiting for this special day. I'm blown away. There's nothing more than I can thank the good Lord for than giving me this wonderful life. It could have been 20 years ago he could have taken me, but instead he said, no, Mark, I'm gonna show you what you've been have waiting for for all this time that never ever put your trust in nobody but the Lord Jesus Christ. And I love you. God bless. Anyone here who is a parent knows that having a child is life changing. But having a child at 20 was an awakening for me. Adriana taught me how to give selflessly and love unconditionally. And in her 20s, she and Dean were able to give each other the same. Adriana and Dean have been together for more than 10 years. That kind of love endures. I have never seen two people more perfect for each other than Adriana and Dean. They allow each other to be authentically themselves, perfectly comfortable as themselves, and perfectly accepting of each other. That is true love. So today, I want to welcome Dean into my family with open arms. Dean, I am so proud of you, and I'm so proud to call you my son-in-law. And I only have one thing for you to do. In the words of Nanda, take care of my daughter. myself and the other half of the Gattuso clan, we are in the happiest moment of our baby brother's life. And I get to be at the center of it for a few seconds, being his proud big sister. And now we get to formally welcome the most beautiful bride there ever was into a family that has considered her one of their own for over a decade. In short, all of us here today are lucky enough to have a Dean, and even better, sorry Diener, and Adriana. She's just one of those people that you look at and you think, how the hell did she end up here with me? <laughs> how did all this work out that she would become a staple in our life? I know any of you on the other side who have been lucky enough to meet Dean feel the same. And now in some cosmic stroke of luck, everyone in this room today is lucky enough because you get to have them both forever. <laughs> Dean was never much of a ladies' man growing up. And in fact, I had my doubts. But then came Adriana. Many of us thought Adriana was far too hot for Dean. <laughs> to my surprise, it turned into over a decade, and here we are at their wedding. Dean always loved to travel, but without delay, Adriana was pulling him all over the world. Dean's wit and charm, Adriana's zest for life, complemented each other perfectly. And, I'm, and I truly believe that their love can weather any storm and they will be together for the rest of time.
so I guess I will just take a moment to thank everybody so much for being here. I know so many of you traveled. I mean, I didn't know that we were actually going to get married one day, but here we are, and it's been the most beautiful thing, and to have you all to be a part of it is truly a blessing and an honor, and I think I speak for both of us, but in case I don't... You do. <laughs> thank you guys. Love you guys so much.